Hi there, Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Welcome to your October 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, or as some of you may know, as Heart Divine. Now, if you're new to my channel, please do know that I do monthly intuitive forecast love readings and astrology videos, and if this is something that you are interested in, please do consider subscribing. Now, um, let's first talk about the you know general energy of what we might experience for the month of October 2020. Now we do have a lot of retrogrades. Um, well, not really a lot, but we are going to feel Mars retrograde and Mercury retrograde in the month of October, and that can give you know a lot of looking back to the past and you know. Um, trying to reflect on things, you know, whether you are doing it consciously or sub uh, unconsciously, you know, that kind of energy. However, we also have, you know, um, certain stars or elements in the skies that are moving direct. So despite the fact that, you know, the past might, you know, give us a very nostalgic feeling, I say that uh, there is also an element we're in slowly and bit by bit we are starting to move forward and getting past the things that we have been very much frustrated on the things that we were not able to do anything you know the things that has made us uh, very much helpless to, re regardless of what situation that you are in we are starting to move past that and make solutions might come and we are at the point wherein we are capable to overcome them at this time so that is actually a very wonderful energy if it, if you would ask me but um of course with when it comes to you know creating solutions or finding answers to what is troubling you there will be an instance wherein you will have to face your own fears and face some form of darkness inside of you. Um, and you might need to accept of quite a few things um, for you to find some form of resolution. However, please do know that you know whatever you, you might experience during this time is necessary for you to you know step up and overcome um, whatever situations that you that is about to occur in your life you know there are just certain things that comes in very necessary for you to um step forward with things now um let's focus now with the card and see what's going on on what you might experience what what and you know what energy might manifest for you for the month of october now the first card that we have over here is the queen of pentacles and this might represent you or a specific individual in your life definitely the queen of pentacles i always view this as the perfect woman the perfect card for you know another partner you know it could be that you you have been you know very patient understanding you know being that perfect girl perfect woman you know or vice versa um that form of energy it gives me a feeling we're in you know um it's all about not really giving in to your selfish desires and really understanding the situation, you know, understanding the other person, all of those kinds of energies. This can also be a situation wherein, you know, you decide to not fight with your partner or not not to give in with with whatever that you want you know when it comes to relationships sometimes we try to voice out what we want what do we desire and that creates some form of conflict this gives me an idea wherein you know even though your desires are not being met you you try to understand you try to weigh things out you you try to you know it's like you know being the perfect wife you know staying at home waiting for your husband that kind of energy of course that is not the entire meaning of this um, queen of pentacles it's just that i am viewing this energy that way in that manner you know this can also be a situation wherein you try to you try to not you know create any drama in the relationship and you know 
you put your power down instead of aggravating the situation. However, we do have here the Hermit card. So despite um, despite what I have said about you being patient or, you know, it, again, this can represent you, your situation, or a specific individual in your life. Despite that, we do have the Hermit card. So it might tell us that, you know, it doesn't mean that it makes you happy. Yes, you have been, you know, you're trying to do things the right way. You're trying to not um, do um, unconventional things. You're trying to do things in a very traditional way. You know, what is right, what is not right. You know, you're trying to focus on what is the right thing to do. What is the moral thing to do in a situation? So it's like you're not really acting upon your own feelings, but you're acting upon what you think is the right thing to do in a situation or a relationship. Um, so here we are seeing that maybe that is not making you happy or there is a form of loneliness when it comes to the hermit card over here. It gives me a feeling we're in, yes, I have been, you know, doing the right thing, but it's not really making me happy. So there could be a lot of very spiritual, um, I would say spiritual experience you know, or some form of enlightenment or awakening that you might experience, some form of reality, realization may come into your mind or you could be dwelling on the situation that you are in uh, very much closely. Because with this um, Ten of Swords, it, it gives that energy strongly that maybe um, your situation, some of you might find, they might find it very depressing or there is some form of disappointment that might be brood, brooding them. You know, you could be in a situation wherein you feel that you are in a relationship, but you're not feeling very much fulfilled in the relationship that you are in. Of course, this is not going to be experienced by all Scorpios out there. This is a general reading. But one way or another, there could be something that is not satisfying you or there could be a situation that you are not satisfied with. You know, you might be feeling sad about that. You know, it doesn't mean that it's a hopeless situation. It's just that maybe you're giving into nostalgia. Just like I mentioned earlier, uh, these are the energies that you might really feel. Um, this could also be a situation wherein you you try to look into your own feelings, your own emotions, maybe being reminded of the past or some form of memory gets triggered inside of you. Over here, we do have the Two of Swords. And notice that the two, with this card of the Two of Swords, you know, there is a lot of watery element here, but there's also clouds in the air, you know. So it's like, you know, your emotions and your mind is in sync during this time but it's very troubled especially when we you know you have this dark atmosphere over here so it gives me a feeling we're in you know maybe um, there could be things that you're not seeing or there could be things that you you want to have access on you want to have answers on these are the things that you know maybe there are a lot of questions in your mind during this time and there is there are just quite a lot of things that you want to know want to figure out and maybe there are issues that you want to overcome so you know I would say that maybe in the past you decided to not do anything. You decided that, you know, um, doing things the practical way, the logical way is the right way to do. But during this month, I kind of feel that, you know, your feelings is going to act up uh, very much strongly. So if you are not happy in a situation that you're in, in your relationship, for example, I kind of feel that, you know, you will explore that venture. You will explore and try to find out more about your own feelings and what you can do about it, how you can actually improve that. And if there is someone in your mind that, you know, is constantly in your mind that you maybe cannot forget about, you know, you might try to explore that uh, venture I'm not saying that you will, you know, connect with that person again, but I kind of feel that you will think about this um, much more and maybe um, a decision might come uh, with that. I'm still not sure how this might manifest for each and every one of you guys. I just know that yeah, your emotions is going to be very triggered and you might need to make a decision based on that 
um, that allows you to move forward. And speaking of moving forward, we do have the Six of Swords, which is, you know, movement, forward movement, and, you know, going to a new venture and stuff like that. So as, as you um, uh, as you work around with your own emotions, figure, figuring your own feelings, especially if you have been very much uncertain with your feelings, you know, you could be very much lost, like you don't know... What do you really feel? What do you really want? I kind of feel that you will come into terms of finding clarity um, to what you truly feel, what you truly want, basically. And that will allow you to move forward with things. This can also be a, a time of moving on or, you know, moving forward with things. So this is not a time for you to be stuck. But you are going to feel that... Um, you are going to basically experience feeling stuck, but you're not going to stay stuck, if that makes sense. Because you will get the answers within the month, and you will take action with that. And this is a very wonderful card telling us that if you are in a difficult situation right now, especially in terms of your love life and relationship, this is like a big signal that, you know, you are... Um, consciously or unconsciously you are wanting to move past that you don't want to stay in a very stuck situation in a very frustrating situation so there could be an action that might come up that allows you to move forward with things you know whether it's you to whether it's to communicate with someone or to say something or whatever uh, there is some form of venture that is giving us a signal that you know there is something that is moving forward and progressing in your own feelings and your own desires with the world card over here um, this is actually a very wonderful card of continuity maybe there is something that you want to continue or this could be a signal of you know um um if there is something that you feel that you cannot reach or something that you feel that is impossible to do, this could be a, a great signal wherein it gives you opportunities to actually achieve the goal that you wanted, that you were not able to do before. So I would say that there could be sudden changes that might occur in your life. It could be something that you also initiate, but this change is necessary and it's actually what's going to help you reach your goal much more faster. And um, let's first focus on the Astro Dice. We do have here Aries, Uranus, and the Ninth House. So um, the reason why I focus here is because it's actually related with the reading, if you would ask me. Like, you know, the ninth house has a lot to do with foreign places or education or, you know, it's all about your hopes and dreams also, you know, the ones that are really your heart's desire, you know, that kind of thing. It's not It's not really like the 11th house, which is, you know, um, the things that you want to achieve. Like, it's more on achievement and success. Uh, the ninth house has a lot to do with something more internal, something that has a lot to do with your heart even also. So there could be, you know, sudden changes um, with that. It could be that this is a time wherein you are going to free yourself with something, you know, things that are holding you back. You are going to take action to to free free yourself from any blockages that has been um, warding you off, I say. You know, it's like, you know, something is blocking you and this is the time wherein you decide to fight. You decide that I will push forward. I will take action, you know. This is the time wherein you tell yourself that I'm done with not doing anything. I'm done with being passive. I'm done with hiding. And this is the time for you to, you know, to initiate. And this is the time that you are going to to free yourself. And you are going to act, take action, you know. Basically, you are going to be the driver of your own life, you know. You're not going to allow anyone to, to just uh, tell you what to do, tell you what not to do, you know. It, there is no one that's going to give you limitation 
um, basically that is the energy that I'm picking up with the chariot card over here this just gives us an inf uh, confirmation basically that you know you are really going to push forward with things. And this is like a big signal that maybe an opportunity might come to you that, you know, um, a chance, once in a lifetime chance opens up for you that, you know, allows you to, to, to do something in a situation or a relationship. And this is basically giving you a green signal to whatever it is that you have been hesitating on in the past so with the four of wands over here i would say that this is maybe a, a situation that creates harmony uh this is a situation wherein you know brings balance back in the in your life this is also a situation wherein some form of alliance and relationships can be made uh it can be a form of uh, reuniting some form of harmony in the relationship uh, that is also a possibility though that is not the 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 sole meaning to that I just feel here that you know based on the actions that you do or based on the events and opportunities that comes to you there is a possibility that you might you know achieve um, some form of success you know uh, some form of foundations um, can bloom even with the three of pentacles over here this is all about uh, making effort and teamwork I would say so so this is a situation wherein you try to work things out yeah you, know, you try to to do your best this is a situation wherein um, you really, really make the effort and the other person is also reciprocating. They're also doing their part. You're doing your part all at the same time. So there is a possibility to work things out, work things together, um, that form of energy. And the last card of the deck, we do have here the Ten of Cups, which is a very wonderful card. And it's all about, you know, emotional fulfillment and happiness in the air. So... It really goes down here in telling us that you need to, you know, get past this phase and decide to take action and find your own opportunity to to maybe mend a relationship, create a relationship, um, to fix a relationship. Those are the possibilities that m might be in place. I do know that you're not going to be in this alone. You are going to be with someone, you know. The Ten of Cups has a lot of support also. It's like, you know, um, it's also a place wherein you are very much fulfilled emotionally and very much comfortable in your own skin with the decisions that you make. So this is, this is probably a time wherein you are going to be following your own instincts, your own emotions, and what makes you really happy. You're not going to be in a place wherein you are going to be making decisions just based on what is right, you know, what is... Uh, the moral thing to do what is the logical thing to do you are going to focus on what is really on your heart and that is going to you know uh gear things up that you know uh, pushes everything forward so that they are um in its place at its own time however um I'm not going to deny, I do see that some form of disturbance with its energy, like there is really something that you need to overcome. And it's not as easy as taking action. Sometimes, you know, it's easy to say that you are going to take action, that you are going to take necessary change. But many people, especially for a lot of Scorpios, they are very, you know, uh, they tend to do things in a very safe way, if you would ask me. Even though that they do like the risk, there are times that they, they like to do things very safely. Um, they try to, you know, they want things to happen and to pan out in a very sure way. So um, it's going to be a battle on how much you can overcome your own emotions and you know, if you can forgive yourself, you know, there are, there are a lot of things that can um, create um, 
more information into this and this is just a very general reading so it's quite hard but I do know that there could be some form of confusion that you might need to overcome as a whole however if you go past that there is a possibility to 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 be happy again I would say you know there is a form of happiness that we can see over here so now let's go for the Lenormand and see what is the confirmation message that we might pick up here we are seeing you know the clouds which create some form of confusion the house basically is telling us about the relationship or foundation you know this can represent a relationship a foundation of a relationship and if we take a look here the clouds and the heart can give us you know maybe it's it's talking about a troubled heart or some form of confusion with your own feelings all of that kind of stuff the heart and the mountains is about you know um, having some form of blockage with your emotions or you know some form of problems in in love um, is being indicated all at the same time so these are the things that you know is coming in very strongly so we have that kind of energy we're in this could be a situation wherein you are in a in a complicated situation right now it could be this is basically a state wherein you're not exactly happy into your own situation and relationship and you are going to be battling that on the solutions and resolutions on what you can do to improve the situation if there is any anything that you can improve on you know so those kinds of things can be at play during this time so that is the the strongest energy that we are being that you can feel over here but again remember that there are opportunities that is going to come for you and th this is also a time wherein you can actually accomplish your your long step your long lasting uh, wish and desires as a possibility but again let me mention that it only occurs once you actually take the initiative to take action and not being afraid of what might happen or what might not happen so so for you to step forward and to to have a more positive um result i would say this is uh, you have to be prepared to to initiate something to take action and have courage to whatever decisions that you you might you know think about or come across because i feel that you are going to be thinking about something even in a very intuitive level so that is something that can help you very greatly so um it's all about breaking patterns basically that's going to be happening and transpiring for you in terms of your love life and relationships for the month of october 2020 so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me i do hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity into your situation scorpios again if you are in a happy relationship and all of that then that means that you know this is not really a reading for you because clearly um these are a reading that is uh, connecting to specific people only. So there are a lot of Scorpio people, so I don't expect everyone to connect with the reading. So just keep that in mind. If you do want a more personal reading and in-depth and details specifically done for you, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website, in the stars by Chrissy.com, And I shall see you guys again next month. Bye.